All right, so the uh, Suron electric motorbike. Uh, what to say about it? So it's been 5,500 kilometers now that I've done on this bike, and so it's been it's been almost flawless. Like the only things I had to replace is the chain because I didn't lube it enough, and it got super rusted riding on the beach and such. And um, I changed the tires just because the stock tires are really road, sorry, really off-road orientated, and I like to do a bit of um, mountain bike tracks and such. So I wanted something a bit more smooth to not mess them up. Uh, what else? I changed the seat just so that I could um, have my girlfriend on the back. So there was nothing wrong with the, the stock seat apart from it's not being super comfortable. And I put extra pegs on just so my girlfriend can sit on the back. This is just a little uh, hill climby video sort of thing with a uh, nail on the back. I just want to show its capabilities. It's it's super capable, even with two people. And uh, this is just all the stuff from my vlogs. So um, feel free to watch till the end and I'll just chuck a bunch of random surrounding stuff from the vlogs in there. Enjoy. Ooh. And this as well. Oh yeah, also this. So apart from that, everything else is stock. And I guess this as well. I don't think that's stock, but that's just a piss bucket. So, um, yeah, other things that have gone wrong with this bike. So, I've had to replace the brake pads on the stock brakes, just these ones here, because they burned through, and the back ones just burned through, and I'm nowhere near a, um, a bike shop, so I can't replace those, so I just removed it, because it just squirted oil everywhere, and it was just constantly, and I didn't want to lose anything. So, um, I took them off. But apart from that, it has been solid. I've still got the stock forks and the stock rear suspension. It does scrape a little bit, but it hasn't seemed to really matter at all. You can't even hear it scraping, which is good. Uh, what else have I done? That's it. That's it. And uh, yeah, stock headlights still been good. Display has been good. Haven't had any problems with that. Um, but okay, so one thing that I have had a few problems with is the sensors so the first sensor was the tip over sensor um that one i had to disconnect because if i came off a heavy jump and landed it not so gracefully it would shut off the bike and i had to turn it off and turn it back on or like trying to shake it around it was it was really dodgy so i disconnected that um the kick sensor the kickstand sensor got ripped clean off from just off-roading i have no idea where that is i think it's here actually is that it no it's not oh there it is it's just in there you can see that it's just hanging in there so that got ripped off i didn't actually have a problem with that so that was that's the sensor that's been all good but obviously ripped off so it doesn't work anymore and the brake sensors so it's um uh, i had a bit of problems with them at the start it was kind of like they worked they worked well at the start but then towards like a few thousand kilometers they started like, you know, just braking when I'm just like what, accelerating, like why the hell aren't I accelerating and look at the tail light and notice that the tail light's on and it says it's braking. So I had to rip one of those out on a trail because I couldn't go anywhere. And um, the other one I ripped out very recently and it's when I, um, when this got busted. So I don't know if that's correlated anyway. I don't think it is, but it's a coincidence, I guess. But um, yeah, so it got busted then I had to just rip it out and I haven't even like connected it off or like made it safe or anything so it could easily just be reconnected but it did break on the thing and it's like totally busted so that kind of sucks so sensors chain which is you know to be expected it's a it's like one of the only mechanical parts on the actual bike and oh yeah with the suspension so the oil must have come out because i've have done like no maintenance pretty much zero maintenance this bike occasionally topped up the brakes um when they're like feeling a bit spongy but apart from that like practically no maintenance so um i with the suspension it was getting like no oil in it and i could feel like the sh sh like it felt dry and it felt like there's stuff in there so i did just um pop these off and put the bike like there's like little seals here these little rubber seals i just popped them off and um just put the bike on its ass and like literally just used like um uh what was it i used i think it was like canola oil or 
something like that. I use some oil, just like house oil holds, typical shitty cooking oil. And it's been good for like another thousand kilometers, which is fantastic. And it still seems like a little oily, which is great. So um, that's been that's been awesome. Haven't had to change the forks yet, because I, I hear a lot of you, you sir runners out there just straight away be like, oh, new forks, new brakes, new everything. But as for stock, it's it's been good. It's been, yeah, like almost flawless, apart from, you know, sensors and things that don't generally matter. And obviously forks is a mechanical part, which I should I should probably do maintenance on it and take it in to get it properly done because it's it's tricky to do by yourself. I live in a caravan full time, caravan of courage, check us out. So um, this is where I'm staying at the moment by the way. Beautiful. Look at that. It's a penguin in Tasmania. But um yeah so definitely definitely get a Sarah on. It's been practically maintenance free. It's like very very slight things. And as far as engine goes it's been flawless. As far as controller goes, it's been flawless. And I have taken this through, you know, like deep water. Oh, shit. Oh. And um, carrying two people, obviously. Most of my rides are with, with Nay on the back, unless it's, you know, jumps and stuff, because you can't stand up with two people. You might be able to, but it's, it's not nice for the second person. And uh, yeah, so. It's a pretty solid buy, even after 5,000 Ks. It's, it's been good, it's been very good, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. So I hope that helps with any um, decisions you wanna make or anything like that. And subscribe and like and all that sort of stuff. Oh yeah, there's a little bell icon, click that, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. A little bit of forest riding and uh, this is what you get. Oh my god, it is compacted in there. And it's not just that side. It's both. Oh, that's so in there. Well, I managed to get it all out. And my god, was it compacted in there. So I was uh, riding along some of these trails. <laughs> Fuck. I um, came down here, super slippery. Completely stopped going forwards. Oh. Can hardly move. And I had to put my foot down. Oh no. Oh, got it. That is really cool bush bashing with the stir on. This way? Back wheel washed out just when I lifted up the front. <laughs> 